and you're able to throw something. I wonder what that was, because it's not happened again. Is there a spirit here with us? What is that? Oh my. Yeah, did you hear that? Yes. I've just decided that this place is haunted. This week started off by exploring a few abandoned buildings. It's absolutely wrecked. But then we came across something we had wanted to investigate for a while. We have been to this hospital before, but it turned into a video hiding from security rather than an investigation. We were driving past it on the way to another location and just thought, seeing as we were there, we may as well give it another go. We were convinced there wouldn't be any security this time, seeing as how damaged the building was and how easy it was to get into. Turns out we were wrong, and once again found ourselves in a situation where we don't know if we should try and investigate or bugger off. Every fucking time. After searching the building for a while, we decided we should investigate, but try to put the security to the back of our minds. We kept hearing noises, but we just couldn't shake the idea that it was just security. So it was time to attempt an escape and try somewhere else. <laughs> oh, Joe? Yeah? You go fast. Oh, yeah, I don't think about that. Are you coming? No, I thought I'd just, uh, Check out this tree. Yeah, all right. I'll see you in a bit then. Ooh, what the actual? Yeah, there. What? The house. That's creepy. It's an abandoned diddly house. I don't know if it's abandoned. Oh look, the entire building is made of asbestos sheeting. Incredible. Seriously. Really? Yeah. That's not good. Fucking hell. Wow. That's not good. As long as it's not broken, like that, we'll be alright. I'll close the door. Good job. Oh my god, the floor is screwed and not properly. <laughs> oh wow. Shit. Oh man. This place is rotten to shit. And almost entirely made of asbestos. Oh. I mean, it's well ventilated. Yeah, as long as we don't break anything ourselves, which obviously we never do. Yeah. It should be okay. We spent a limited amount of time here as well. The floor. Look, you just bounce yeah. up and down and everything goes with you. Well, they were definitely into motorbikes then. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. It's like, as much as I want to do a walk around, I almost don't want to walk through it all. No. I think we... We've done enough walk arounds anyway. Yeah, we need to do investigation. <laughs> yeah, I think all of this is asbestos concrete sheeting. That's horrible. Yeah. Oh, what? If I turn around here and there's someone led in bed. <laughs> That's amazing. We need to just get on and investigate. If there are any spirits here with us, 
should know we don't mean you any harm. We're just here to try and make contact. You have a beautiful place. We're going to respect it. We have camera set up in each room. So if you want to do anything away from us, you have the option to do it. But we would also welcome you to do something in this room with us now. And my name's Joe. And my name's Elliot. You might not know, actually, but, but the best way to communicate is either through knocking, throwing something, or using your voice. Oh, the curtain moved. Yeah. It's just the wind that actually really got me there. Yeah, then we've got to watch out because the curtain's moving. And I have actually got a torch there and my Osmo camera is right there, the black box. It's facing the bed and it's facing the REM pod. So we've actually got this place covered quite well. Mm. Please just make any sound that you can to let us know that you're here. I take it whoever lived here had motorbikes and liked motorbikes. Can you try and make a sound and we can have a conversation about bikes or just something that you love? Got lots of like bike parts in here by the, by the looks of it. Hmm. Are there any of the bikes in that photo yours? In fact, is that you in that photo? I assume it is. Did you used to ride motorbikes? Maybe it's not like the person who used to live here. It could have been like previous owners or people on the land or anything. It's to me it looks like if someone lived here, they would have built it too. Yeah. For a makeshift, isn't it? Yeah. Can you just give us a sign if you can hear us? Do you feel that? I had a, a, a much stranger vibe through here than I do in in this room. Okay. This floor is so screwed. Where have you put the camera? The is it in this room? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. I mean, yeah. yeah. God, man. <laughs> Safe. But mm. the whole floor here is not intact. Let's try some noise. Can you, can you copy me like this? What was that? That was me. No. <laughs> So we went before. Hello? Is it the floor? Hello? Oh, 
Can you do something incredibly distinctive for us? Again, we just want to find out if you're even here. We don't even know who you are. got a weird feel in this place. Hmm. Hello? There's like an open door here. Where actually there's loads and that was because it was glass, wasn't it? That was glass, yeah. Is it just I think it's just glass falling out of the It's also smashed. I think that's just where you know, like Surely, like I don't want to break it, but you can see my point. Like, <laughs> I don't know, because really, well, look, there's, there's glass all the way down here, and you can see no one's walked through here because it's, it's all yeah dry. Is it raining? Yeah. But that's also the point as well. Like it's just started raining. Yeah, and I, I don't know, but I mean, it could be that. Yeah, there's broken glass everywhere. Yeah, and this is a concrete floor. I think it came from here. And right. it's glass falling out of the window. I suppose because echoing through there, it would have been like it sounded like through there. It's just the the sort of the chance of being here. What happens? Let's just keep asking. If we keep getting answers and responses like it, then we're yeah. Go down line of paranormal, but golden then, yeah. For now. So if that was you that just made that glass sound, can you please do it again? Can you throw glass at us? There's a device on the bed. So on top of a book, if you go near it, it will it will should make a noise. Could you move it? Squeaky noise. The reason that we're here is to just find out if you're happy, if you need any help, or or just to find out your story.
go back in there. Hmm. Because that's where it all happened almost. Is that another bedroom through there, do you think? Yeah, if you can get through it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know people have gone in there. Yeah. But. Okay. It'd be good to show it, wouldn't it? But. It's just that floor is. It, I mean, if you do go through it, it's not going to go far, but. It is so soft, isn't it? Yeah. Let me just try and. So is there someone here who likes it maybe when we're in this room? You prefer to make noises when we're in here? Is it that you'd rather us be out of the way? We'd be so grateful if you could make those glass sounds again. Just smash, well, you have to smash glass, but... make any sound with glass so we can rule out that it was just the wind and decay i just need to get out of this bit sorry mm. i mean could you just kind of throw some glass or something at us it's a weird request but it's hard for us to know that you're actually here Just the constant ticking of Drip. water. But I wonder. Yeah, me too. I just wonder what that was because it's not happened again. Yeah, which makes it much more. It's just a one-off yeah. thing of glass falls out of a, a broken window mm. pane. Yeah. If it kept on happening, that's when we're like, oh shit, that's paranormal. Is there a spirit here with us? Do you that click right next to me then? I, I just assumed it was your camera. No. Oh. It was, well, it was higher pitched than that. Was that you? What was that? What? I thought I just heard like... I thought, oh, no. Might have just been the plane. Hmm. We have a device in our hand that hopefully will allow us to hear you if you want to come and speak to us. Come in the frame. Please. That was glass again, was it not? That was outside. Go outside. I sound like someone going to thrown against the side of the wall. Didn't it?
And then we get a, a better shot of this. I mean, again, if you want to go down like, oh, there's someone there, you would have heard someone if it was, and if it wasn't outside, but it sounded like, it sounded like this. It sounded glass. like it, yeah. Please. Can come in the frame. Please. Can come in the frame. Please. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's do. Actually, can we play with the EVP to prove that it happened in person? Oh yeah. Uh. So what I mean, like just in case people were always just an overlay. Or... We have a device in our hand that hopefully will allow us to hear you if you want to come and speak to us. Please. That's it. Okay. It's just so good when you get those extra little bits of proof that it happens on things like. Yeah, yeah. You know, If that was you, then thank you very much. Really appreciate everything you're trying to do for us. Please come to this device and speak. Yeah, did you hear that? Yes. Do you know that's the foot? We used this near enough every episode. Yeah. And I'm al I almost feel sick to death of using it because nothing ever happens. It's not definitive proof of a voice, but I'm, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. We can check person. the cameras. Well, it's like well, distant. When it, I'm editing, I'll be able to sell, sit, hear what because I'll pair that up. Yeah. With the time that it happens on these. Yeah. If nothing was picked up on this, but it wasn't that, then then we go EVP. But hang on. Wow. That's an actual. Uh, yes, it is. It's not a word, but it's vocal. It's. Uh, I didn't hear that in here. I did hear two things. I can't remember what they were, that paper scraped. Yeah. Just there, that's moving in the wind. But that doesn't go, Ugh. Well, sorry, I'm not gonna, I wasn't no, mocking no. it then, I was. No. Wow. Sorry, let me just do that once more. Get it right up to my microphone. Yeah. I'll do it from. What is that? Oh my, that's so creepy. That let's is. Do, let's do another one. 
We have to do another one. You've, we've got that recorded, yeah, right? Yeah, that was right up to the microphone. If the microphone didn't pick that up, then it never will. When you play the footage back and you play the audio back from all microphones and cameras, you cannot hear this sound on any of them, which means it is isolated to the tape recorder itself. Now, we don't know the full inner workings of how the tape recorder works, so we don't know if it's something that could have malfunctioned to create this noise while we're recording, but there's one thing that we do know, and that's that it couldn't have come from us overplaying something or something coming through from a previous recording because we always either use a new tape or continue from the last session so it's it's nothing down to to our faults and it's nothing that's come down to noises around us or us moving now you do hear a click or a slight bit of movement but that comes before you hear the groaning sound and that was from the phone book or whatever book that was on the floor we tried doing some more EVPs, but unfortunately nothing happened, so we decided to do it in the bedroom instead. The EVPs, I mean. Okay, so I've got an idea. I'm not going to do any calling out for this. I'm just going to let this run while we're talking, hmm. just to see, because we've never really done that before. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... This will not affect that run pod. And I'll just start recording now until it stops. Okay. Thank you so much for everything you've done, or if that was you. Um, please, can you make a sound? Are you able to throw something, move something in here? I'm going to move. Is it a male that we've been speaking to? Or is it a female we've been speaking to? I think we should listen to it. We don't want to make it too long, do we? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, but it creeps me out. Mm. Thank you so much for everything you've done, or if that was you. Um, I'm going to Need a light. Yeah, okay. just turn my light on. Fucking hell. How are we ever going to know what that was then?
the thing is, again, as ever, how do we know? I've just decided that this place is haunted. Have you? Yeah. Oh. See, I'm going down the lines of how the hell can we tell? We can't, but it's, um, that voice is what's got me. That was just loud as well. Uh, it, 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 it could, that's the annoying thing. It could be just natural decay. Yeah, that's what I'm going with, because yeah. I can't, it's, it, it's, it's oh, getting loads of things on command. No. But that voice is what feels like it's connecting things together. Mm. That voice, just that little, it's almost like in a distant dimension sort of thing. It's like... Yeah, but again, that we need to look at the footage of everything. Yeah. To know if, if, if the camera's picked up us, like, yeah. I don't know, just doing anything, moving. Mm. It could have been the paper. Yeah. Because, I don't know, we need, we'll talk about it in an interview. Can, can, we, can we listen to the rest of that just in case? Yeah. Oh. It sounds like that. that. Do you know what? That's annoying, actually. If that was recording that bit longer, it might have yeah. picked that up. Well, that's always the same. Well, we've shown... Yeah. The, the, you know, I'll, I'll play something the, did happen on the EVP anyway, the recorder. I'll play the rest. You just move in, then it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. No. Doesn't. Yeah. There isn't anything that time. For this part of the video, I always have the question in my mind of, was it paranormal? 
or was it decay? Was it just something natural? Now, there's absolutely no proof whatsoever to say that this was paranormal. And I would say there's a lot more proof to say that this was just natural decay, seeing as the fact that the building is very clearly in a bad state and the windows are smashed to hell. It was a little bit windy. There was water and well, rain landing on them. So it could have just dislodged things. And when I pressed on the window, it, they were so loose. So I, you just can't say that that's paranormal. But the one thing that then switches our minds a little bit is the fact that we actually got quite, we think quite a good EVP. It's not a distinctive voice or word in many ways. It's, it's definitely a sound that was recorded on the EVP recorder and nothing else, so that makes it more along the lines of paranormal for us and less of another explanation for it. But when you combine that with those sounds, maybe it was something trying to communicate with us through the glass smashing sounds, especially as we did ask for that after the first time. So it's not proof of paranormal, but it is interesting enough that we will probably end up going back again just to see if we could continue the investigation to find out. When we go to these places, it's very hard sometimes to distinguish whether or not it's natural decay or whether it's paranormal. And in this one, it was, it was just one of those locations because all the noises that we heard, the, the sounds of glass, um, some of the bangs, there is evidence of those noises with the decay, like the, the floor falling apart, some of the windows smashing and with loose glass. But saying that, we did pick up an EVP, which we know for sure couldn't have been um, through any noise pollution from outside or within the building or for ourselves, especially when we checked back the footage to make sure that we weren't moving um, during the EVP session. So it warrants further investigation and I absolutely loved it because natural decay, probably. Paranormal, well, we got an EVP, so it could be.